Here are your six rainbow colors. You start out the top would be red, then orange, then yellow, then green, then blue, then purple. And I've rolled these out on, on my thickest setting, which is a number one. And what I did was I stacked the purple, then the blue, then the green, and I used my Kemper cutter, and it's um, only so big, so I pressed, I went down, you know, pressed it, and popped them out, so now I have two, I'm making two at the same time, um, I have two of these, that I'm going to layer, yellow, orange, red, because my yellow is small, I'm going to flip it over so I can see it, Just using my hand, I've squished it down just a little bit, so that way um, I can make it a thinner one. Then I'm going to take my Kemper Cutter, go back on the top, go down all six layers, just like this. Then I have my little cake. I have my razor blade here. Cut a slice. And there's my cake, and I have a little peppercorn I'm using for texture. You can also use a rolled up ball of tin foil. Don't worry about the tops or the sides because you're going to have icing on it, but you are going to um, texture this. You can use a toothbrush if you want. Get down in there. Get that. Well done. And on the piece that you cut out, make sure you texture it as well. Um, using the icing that's TLS and white clay mixed together, you can check my other videos for the recipe for it. It's real easy. Um, I'm going to put icing on my cake. Here's the icing on it, and to make it look really real, you're going to get up close and personal with either a needle tool or something like this, and you've already textured it, but you're going to get crumbs. Because it's multicolored, make sure you get a few of each color. And you can always go back and retexture it if these mess it up too much. Crumbs, that adds a touch of realism. You always have crumbs. Okay, and there's your cake. Here's your slice of cake. Throw a little fork on there, and you're ready to eat. <laughs> 